I paid $250 for seven days of pain and I wish I was joking. I'm not sure why I did this to myself, but I just felt the urge to save this piece even though it was outrageously priced. I started off by applying a chemical stripper, which got a bulk of the paint off. I could already see that I was gonna have an issue with paint residue stuck in the grain, which is why I always hesitate to take on fully painted pieces. I continued on by sanding off what I could with 120 grit and then 180 grit. For the little legs, I used a carbide scraper and I tried to level out the previous repairs and any other veneer chips with colored mohawk epoxy. I then spent over six hours straight scrubbing every inch of this piece with a wire brush and some lacquer thinner to remove the paint out of the grain. I'm not kidding when I tell you this left blisters. Now I don't normally stain walnut, but I decided to apply a gel stain just in case I missed any paint. I was definitely questioning my decision when I saw the jello-like texture of this stain, but honestly, the result was fabulous. I was then able to use my veneer paint kit to color match the repairs I made and the repairs the previous owner made. Getting that combo right also took forever, but it was totally worth it. Lastly, I applied several coats of a wipe on pot now here's the very scary before and here's the after. I'm actually really happy with the result, but wow, this was not a fun one at all. I've already accepted that I'm going to take a major loss on this one considering the original price and the labor I put into it, but oh well, I saved a piece of furniture. So don't forget to follow for more furniture flips.